Are you curious about digital planning? Have you ever wondered, should I switch from a paper planner to a digital one? In this video, I'm gonna share nine reasons why you might consider switching from a paper planner to digital planning. This is Jackie from Plan a Healthy Life and let's get started. Before I share the nine reasons you might want to consider switching from a paper planner to a digital planner, let's start with a few definitions. I know you know what a paper planner is. Most paper planners have monthly calendars combined with daily or weekly pages to track appointments, to-dos, and the important things in our lives. Paper planners usually have monthly labeled tabs so you can easily flip from one month to the next. Paper planners range in price and complexity from a $10 simple planner from Target up to a $75 Erin Condren planner with a custom cover. In a paper planner, you can be very minimalist in your planning, but lots of people love to decorate their paper planners with stickers, colorful pens, and washi tape. Digital planners are specially designed PDF documents used inside an app like GoodNotes or Notability on an iPad or tablet. Links in the PDF give you a paper and pen planning experience because you simply tap on a tab to be taken to that section of your digital planner, much like flipping through tabs in a paper one. Using an Apple Pencil or stylus, you can write on a digital planner so it truly looks just like a paper planner. You can also easily decorate your planner using images from your camera roll or special digital stickers. And lest you think I don't love paper planning, that's not true. I really heart my paper planners. I just love my digital ones a thousand times more. So now let's examine the nine reasons you might wanna switch from a paper planner to a digital planner in more detail. So number one, digital planners are easier to carry with you than paper planners. Paper planners can range in size from a tiny pocket one up to a hefty eight and a half by 11 inches. Depending on how many pages you have in a planner, they can be downright heavy. Paper planners can be very inconvenient to take on the go. Digital planners live on your iPad or tablet. According to Apple's website, most iPads weigh around a pound. Though the dimensions of your iPad may vary, they are thin and sleek and easily fit into a large purse, a tote bag, or a backpack without adding extra bulk or much extra weight. Plus, if you take your iPad on the go, you have access to entertainment, to apps, to email, and so much more than just your digital planner. Even if you don't wanna bring your iPad with you, you can always view your digital planner on your phone. It's easy to always have your digital planner with you. Reason number two why you might wanna consider switching from paper to digital planning. You can easily share your digital planner with friends, coworkers, or your family. GoodNotes, the app that I use and recommend for digital planning, has a feature to share a digital notebook with anyone you specify. So if you wanted to share your digital planner with your BFF, your spouse, or your mom, you could. When you share a digital planner or notebook, you can both view and edit the same documents. You definitely can't share a paper planner with anyone without it leaving your possession. Reason number three, digital planners are easily searchable and paper planners are not. You know you made your six month dental checkup appointment, right? Searching for a note or an appointment in a paper planner means lots of page turning and flipping, trying to find that dreaded dentist appointment. In the digital world, however, apps used for digital planning like GoodNotes and Notability have powerful search features. You can search for handwritten notes, type text, and even search within PDFs. Reason number four, digital planners can save you money. Purchasing a digital planner may be cheaper than buying a paper planner or planners every year. There's no getting around it. You have to buy a new paper planner with each new year. And for some of us planner lovers, more than one planner. While you may buy inexpensive paper planners at Target or Walmart, many people prefer a more high-end planning experience. An Erin Condren Life Planner, which I'm showing you on the screen here, is one of the most popular planners on the market. And it can be $60 or more, depending on what covers you choose, what accessories you get, and with shipping costs. A happy planner, which I love by the way and own several happy planners, can be around $32 unless you can find them on sale. And these are just a few examples of how paper planners can be kind of pricey. 
digital planners are much less expensive, averaging around $10 to $20. And many, like the undated planner, which I use and which I will link to in the description box below, are undated. So you can use them year after year without purchasing a new one. You can even do planning in your app, like GoodNotes or Notability, without using an official digital planner if you follow the bullet journal method or if you use one of their simple calendar layouts that are included in the app. If you love a decorative paper planner, you likely spend money on stickers, washi tape, dashboards, inserts, gel pens, bookmarks, flare felt tipped pens, calligraphy pens, rubber stamps, special planner cases. The options are endless and also expensive. But you can decorate a digital planner without spending any money unless you want to. The app that you choose for digital planning, like GoodNotes 5, has multiple pen styles and endless colors. Instead of paper stickers, you can decorate a digital planner with digital stickers, which are just images. Use photos on your camera roll or find free images online to use inside your planner. Reason number five why you might consider switching from paper planning to digital planning. Digital planning saves space and eliminates paper and gadget clutter. Even if you don't save your paper planners from year to year, likely you have a lot of paper planner clutter. Supplies like stickers, washi tape, pens, inserts, and dashboards. So not only do you have to store the planners, the stickers, and similar creative goodies, but likely you have stuff that organizes all those things. Organizing tools take up space too. I had multiple clear plastic tubs to store my washi tape, an entire drawer full of stickers, and acrylic pen organizers so that all my favorite colors were at my fingertips. All those supplies just take up space and is planner and gadget clutter. If you're a supremely organized planner goddess, maybe all of your planner supplies look neat and colorful and tidy, but most of us mere mortals just have piles of stuff. In contrast, all of your digital planning supplies are stored right on your iPad. Stickers, planners, and pens for digital planning are just digital files. They take up a tiny bit of your tablet storage space, but zero physical space. Best of all, you always have your planning supplies right at your fingertips. With digital planning, you can use multiple digital planners without worrying where you'll store them. So raise your hand if you've ever used more than one planner per year. I'm raising my hand, by the way. And you can see in my GoodNotes file here that I have lots of digital planners that I like to use. Sometimes we like to use separate planners for different aspects of our lives, like a planner for home and family, a separate planner for work or a home business, another planner for tracking your workouts and diet, maybe one for memory keeping. So even though it's fun, using more than one paper planner means spending more money, storing multiple planners, and dealing with more paper clutter. With digital planners, you can use multiple planners and notebooks for all the different areas of your life, and they're still stored on your sleek little iPad. Lastly, you can save digital planners from year to year, and they take up no space in your home. You saw from some of the photos that I shared that I save my paper planners, but here's the problem. Saving paper planners takes up valuable space in your home. I have two full shelves of my paper planners. I know I should toss or recycle them, but sometimes glancing through an old planner makes me smile. Saving multiple digital planners is not an issue. They take up very little digital space and zero physical space. Reason number six. Digital planning saves a ton of time. Even if you are a minimalist paper planner, so you just use paper and pen with no stickers, washi tape, or decorations, there's a certain amount of time that you need to spend writing your tasks, appointments, and to-do lists in your planner. Same for a digital planner, but with a twist. You can create templates to make planning your week super quick and easy. Basically, I create a simple layout of all the tasks and calendar items I do every single week, so I don't have to write or type them in my digital planner again and again. Then I copy and paste that template to future weeks. It's a super easy time saver. Now you can see I don't have all my dates updated, but my October calendar is complete. Also, editing, erasing, and moving tasks and appointments in a digital planner is quick and simple. If you reschedule or cancel an appointment in a paper planner, 
Hello 2020, fixing it in a paper planner is either ugly, crossing it out, or takes creative finagling like covering a mistake with washi tape when you rip off Monday's laundry sticker and try to move it to Wednesday. In a digital planner, you can easily erase tasks with the app's eraser tool. You can cut a digital sticker and paste it wherever you'd like to in a digital planner. You can use your app's lasso tool to move an appointment or a task in just seconds. You can create repeating tasks using copy and paste or templates. Not only do these things save a lot of time, but your digital planner is always neat, tidy, and accurate. And as I mentioned before, digital planners are searchable, which saves tons of time. It's not fun flipping through a paper planner looking for that note you know you made, but you can't find. Reason number seven, digital planning is environmentally friendly. While you can likely recycle many paper planners, they definitely use precious resources. Digital planning and going paperless is environmentally friendly. No trees are harmed in the making of a digital planner. Reason number eight, digital planners are endlessly customizable and editable. You can customize a paper planner to a certain degree. You can create a color coordinated book by limiting pens and stickers to a certain color palette. You can make your planner minimalist or decorative and artistic. You can use stickers that are cutesy or trendy or elegant. And sometimes you can even change paper planner covers, but customization is very limited with a paper planner. You can customize a digital planner in endless ways, and here are just a few of the ways you can make your digital planner uniquely yours. You can use handwriting or decorative lettering. With just a few taps, you can change pen styles and colors. You can easily resize writing or other elements in your planner. You can use text in your planner, and Apple Scribble now makes it super simple to write your appointments or tasks in your handwriting, and it's automatically converted to text. I'll link to a video in the description box that talks all about Apple Scribble. You can add custom fonts to your planner, and you can easily change the size and the color of your text. You can add images from your camera roll, from digital stickers or images you find on the web. You can add inserts, which are pages like meal planning, calendar pages, habit trackers, and add them to your existing digital planner. You can change covers. You can easily add, delete, or rearrange pages. You can change the style of your digital planner layouts from week to week or month to month and so much more. And now the final reason why you might consider switching from a paper planner to digital planning is Number nine, digital planning is a fun and creative outlet. Paper planning is fun, no doubt about it. You can definitely express your artistic and creative side in a happy planner or even with an inexpensive office supply store calendar. But the same is true for a digital planner and I find it even more fun. On the weeks when I have time, I like to turn my very minimalist weekly planning pages into mini scrapbooks as you have seen from some of the images I've shared. You can customize your digital planner in endless ways. You can use a digital notebook to practice doodling or drawing. You can draw mind maps for brainstorming and journal or take notes in creative ways. So if you're considering switching from a paper planner to a digital planner, I hope you found these reasons helpful and convincing. So that's it, nine reasons you may consider switching from a paper planner to digital planning. I appreciate you watching, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Happy planning!